I got a MacBook Pro. Oh my God. Stop. Hey, you cool cats and kittens. Do you remember that part of quarantine? Good times. Today we're, today, <laughs> I don't know. And can we also address the elephant in the room? I'm approaching 30. There's nothing that screams more of keep me in my 20s than a, a Justin Bieber shirt. OOTD. <laughs> My boyfriend knows that this is my husband I'm wearing this. Some Joa Brown sweats and my Uggs from my fall favorites. And honestly, I think they'll be my forever favorites because I can do this. What was that? Anyways, that's not the point of this video. Guess what I have, guys? Well, you guys don't have to guess because you know, because it's on the title, but just go with it. Oh my God. I got it last night. But I decided that I was going to wait to open it with you guys. I just wanted to document this moment and I just want to remember and savor this moment. Because when I got this, which is the MacBook Pro, not Pro, Mini Slim MacBook Air. I was super excited. This, this is my first MacBook Pro ever. I got a 16 inch just because I wanted the screen to be bigger so when I'm editing videos it'd be cool and also because I don't know I just wanted a bigger screen I think my eyes are getting bad 512 gigabytes and I know this one is like the bare minimum of gigabytes does it say no it doesn't I know that there's a lot less gigabytes on here and when I was editing videos I would always have to delete a video that I've already edited and then like upload new footage and then download it be, yeah, that was just silly. This is a moment of truth, guys. I got this last night and I just kept looking at it. I was just like, should I do it? And I said, no, I'm gonna savor it. I'm gonna savor it and wait. Oh my God, what is that? What is that? For this moment so I can share it with you guys. Oh my God. Stop. Also, if my eye is red, that is because I had a little particle in my eye and I know I never got it out. I know that it just became friends with my brain. Why does Apple make the best packaging? It's so satisfying to just like peel things and, you know, do that. So MacBook Pro, gray. What else can I say about it? Oh, don't do that. You can Google it. Here's a charger. My char other charger broke, so that's kind of cool. It's also cool. Wow, what the heckin' bob is going on over here? So this is a new charger, because the charger I have is like the little magnetic one. Guys, about to open this. Shut up. That's a big screen. That's a thick screen, and it just automatically turns on English. Wow. Are you kidding me? Okay, BRB, I have to connect to Wi-Fi, so I have to go where I can pick up Wi-Fi. So as I was dumb, I was able to pick up Wi-Fi. I just didn't find it because I didn't know that I can scroll. I can scroll. And as I'm typing, the like the keyboard feels different. Yeah, why does the keyboard feel like that? First of all, can we just look at the size difference here? Continue. We're getting there, guys. Hey, Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, open the documents folder. Hey Siri, show my downloads. Hey Siri, what's the weather? Hey Siri, what does the rest of the day look like? You have absolutely nothing on your calendar. Nice. There's a touch ID. Okay, so that's a, a different thing. This is just buttons, which I'm okay with just buttons, but this one, has a touch screen. Okay, so lift it and rest your finger on the touch screen repeatedly. <laughs> it's like an iPhone thing. That's sick. Okay, should I do light or dark? I'm gonna go light. I'm a light princess right now. Mac iMac and up to the ambient light condition. So while it's setting up, which shouldn't take long, the screen is large. Can I do that without breaking it? Is that a bad idea? Does that kind of give you an idea? And also, like, let's address that, look at how much space this takes up, you know, of the screen. That could be actual screen. And the fact that it's even bigger than that. 
You guys see this? You guys see this? Stop! I feel like half of this is the screen. I don't know, I'm tripping out, but like, what is this touch screen? Hey Siri, open up iMovie. Mm. Hey Siri, make me a coffee. Stupid. I'm not sure I understand. Hey Siri, I love you so much right now. You are the wind beneath my wings. Shut up, I am. So I figured it'd be fun to take you through customizing this to be my laptop. Are you centered, sis? No, you know what it is? It's the angle. Boom! How's that? Okay. So first of all, I don't like all that. So goodbye launch pad. That is what we're working with here. I like it like clean and minimal. I also prefer to just hide my dock all together. We can turn hiding on. So she's gone. You see that? Nope, not there at all but she'll show up like when you look for her. The next thing I'm gonna do is change the accent color. So I believe you go into system preference desktop. No, general. There we go, accent color. You can, I like pink slightly. I do like blue actually. No, you know, I kinda wanna make it pink. So I opened up my Pinterest for a background aesthetic wallpaper oh i should write laptop oh ooh, that's cute spin her up yes okay we like this okay so control shift use image as desktop picture is that better yeah it's a lot less blurry now here we are this is cute make sure that this is the right fit here system preference I really went the roundabout way, but whatever. Fill screen, fit to screen. And then change the background to white. Actually, yeah, let's do white. That's actually cute. I know we can customize the control bar somehow, so we're gonna figure this out. Ooh! Drag your favorite items to the bottom of the screen. Your arrow goes down here. Say Siri is down here and I don't want her. My mouse is in my touch bar. So that's a thing. And then I think I want screenshot because, you know, for YouTube videos maybe. And I believe that is it. So after playing around with the MacBook and watching YouTube videos, I figured out how to make a custom icon like that little coffee YouTube folder that I made. So I wanted to show you guys how to do that. I made a new folder went to pick monkey opened up a blank canvas did 500 by 500 pixels and then i went to graphics opened up butterflies and put it to the page and then for the background i made it transparent and i saved it opened it up and the transparent background is key I did a click and drag, copied it, and opened up the folder, clicked on the folder, and then pasted it through the edit function. And there we have it. So that was it. That was my unboxing. That was my customization. I'm going to be playing with it for a little while. I mean, forever, basically. And I hope this video was helpful or at least entertaining. If you're trying to decide between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, if you edit videos, like, you know, do things for YouTube or you're using it as a professional because that's what MacBook Pro means versus going to the coffee shop and doing schoolwork or stuff, I would would definitely choose the pro versus the macbook air because it's just bigger Other than the fact that it might be a little bit heavier honestly i just think that it's better yeah the price is more but i would say it's worth it from just the five minutes of playing with it but anyways thank you guys so much for watching bye